It's the Daily Doug. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to the Daily Doug. Thanks for being with me today, my friends. It's a Friday. It's a very important Friday. It's the last Friday before Christmas, and this will be the last Masterpiece Friday of 2023. I thank you for being with me. I was trying to figure out what to share with you today. It could be anything, really. It could be something about Christmas. It could be something about the winter solstice. It could be, you know, whatever we want. But I really felt like, you know, when I was planning this about a month, month and a half ago of how I wanted to finish the year, I thought, you know, we've got to come back to Yes, one of my favorite bands and and hear some music from them, especially with John's lyrics and how he emotes through his lyrics and through his singing, I thought we just got to come back to Yes, one of my favorite bands. So today we are listening to Magnification from Yes, and I'm happy that you are here to listen with me. So this will be my 22nd video dedicated to the music of Yes. Most recently, we returned to live versions of Ritual and Close to the Edge this past summer, and I enjoyed them both immensely. But today I'm finishing out the year by listening to the title track of Magnification, their 19th studio album released in 2001. They recorded uh, this album as a four-piece without a keyboardist, uh, opting instead for uh, music with orchestral backing. And that's something that they had not done since their second album, Time and a Word, back in 1970, all the way back to their second album. And so they are joined by the San Diego Symphony Orchestra for this album. The title track starts off the album. It's the very first track. And it has been suggested to me with, I'm telling y'all, with heartfelt eagerness from many many people. I have had, as far back as almost two years ago, people telling me to get to magnification. And I've been building up doing a bunch of other Yes uh, songs, and so I am uh, finally uh, happy to come to it today. It's been a long time coming, but uh, you know, I'm finally diving into music from this album for the very first time. I don't think I've heard anything yet from magnification, so I'm eager to start. We've got John Anderson, on lead vocals. Steve Howe is on guitars and backing vocals. Chris Squire is on the bass and backing vocals. And Alan White on the drums, percussion, and backing vocals. They are joined by Larry uh, Gruppe, uh, who does the orchestral arrangements and is the conductor. And like I said, the San Diego Symphony is joining uh, our four lads and yes here. So it's going to be a lovely tune, and I can't wait to hear it. Here is Magnification from Yes. Off we go. Sounds like Chris's bass playing. Sounds like Steve's guitar playing. Doing twos against threes, like three, four, and six, eight at the same time. It's got that lovely quality to it. Buoyant. Speak to me clearly, you're the magnet to my soul. You're the magnet to my soul. so distracted trying to reason with it all. Like the people I'm clinging to the edge of every world. Spinning in creation so afraid to let my feelings really show. Moved up a step to B. Right. So 
they changed the uh, meter here.
yeah, it cuts off because it segues directly into the next piece. That makes me want to keep going because it's the first, it's how the, it's how the, the album starts y'all let's keep listening. <laughs> You're all saying, yes, that would be fine, Doug. That's all I have queued up for today. What a tune. You know, I was, as I was reading in, <clears throat> it, it said that this was <clears throat> less, this album was less commercially successful than, than a lot of their albums. But I love the sound of this. I really, really do. The thing that strikes me the most about hearing this is um, a recognition that there's kind of a return to the progressive rock style of music that they helped to pioneer, you know, back in the, you know, the early 70s, the mid 70s. And I have not yet had the opportunity to hear all of their more, uh, what people describe as more pop rock oriented sounds in the eighties and the nineties. But this at the turn of the century, you know, in 2001 reminds me of the sounds that I have heard and enjoyed from their classic albums. And it makes me happy. It really does. They sound great. You know, the only difference is we, we, uh, take out the, the, the sounds of the keyboards and the organs and the synthesizers. And we put in the sounds of, of a symphony orchestra and, uh, I love the keyboard, y'all, but I'm not complaining. It really sounded great. And and they didn't realize it at the time, but this would be the last, yes, studio album that would feature their founding singer, John Anderson. And that strikes me as a sad thing, y'all, because John is still with us and he's still performing beautifully. Uh, Megan and I got to hear John performing uh, close to the edge, all of the album, uh, during the summer of 2022 last year, uh, when the album was turning 50 and he was in great voice and he put on a great show. And I, you know, I just wish that it hadn't been the last one, uh, for John to sing with, with all of his buddies in the band. But if it's his last one, it's, it, it sounds pretty great to me. You know, and as I continue to uh, work my way through all of their discography, uh, which I intend to do, uh, I'll continue to discover their later works, like this album. It's an elegant sound. Um, the singing is strong. John's voice sounds as great as ever. Uh, the band's trademark complexity and tone color, it's all there. And I love it. And I look forward to listening to the rest of this album. But I believe that's going to be all for today, my friends. And for this week, it's been a lovely uh, week. And, you know, I'll be back next week with a few videos uh, for this last week of the year, uh, including our year in review and highlights. That'll be a week from today, next Friday. And I can't wait to share that with all of you. I got to make it first. So, uh, like I said, I believe that's all for today, but I really have enjoyed listening to magnification from yes, the title track from their great album here that was released back in 2001. Thanks to all of you who have been patient with me as I get to this album. I can't wait to get to the rest of it for sure in the new year, but, uh, th that day will be coming. So thanks y'all for being with me. We'll see you next time on another edition of the daily Doug. It's the Daily Doug. Welcome to the Daily Doug. The Daily.